Hey everybody, today I'm here to show you this, this creature from the Black Lagoon figure that I got. Uh, this is the NECA one, not the, uh, I don't know the brand of the, the other one. I mean, you know, it's the one that I used in my stories. And I'm joined by my co-star. His name's Beef. Anyways, so, um... Yeah, honestly, I want to begin first off with this, um, with this art here. I'm putting this dude back here real quick. There we go. And, uh, yeah, honestly, the art here is wonderful. I wonder why they made his lips so red, though. It's like he's wearing lipstick. Then again, he's still more attractive than the Kardashians. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> what is it? So, yeah, you got the big font here, you know, done in the classic, uh, you know, the big white parts with, like, the, uh, the black outlining. It says Creature of the Black Lagoon. You got, got this dude. You got the scuba divers with the classic harpoon gun. And the fuck is he holding? A pencil? <laughs> what is that? Hold on. What is this? I'm gonna zoom in on this real quick. What you, I mean, I think it's supposed to be a knife, but, like, it looks like... It looks more like a pencil <laughs> the way they drew it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think the guy took the, the guy took the expression the pen is mightier than the sword a little too literally. But anyways, yeah, uh, the movie was star, uh, starred uh, Richard Carlson and Ju <coughs> Julia Adams, and then you got the same people down here. Ultimate creature from the Black Lagoon figure. Let's see if it's truly ultimate. Ah, now that's nice. That's some pretty shit right there. Look at that. Wow. Man. That's really nice. Got all the foliage down there. Too bad it doesn't come with all them weeds and all that. Uh, looking at the inside here. Oh, hey, look, you can see. Hey, everybody. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Uh, how do I get my fucking ugly mug out of the frame? I'm trying to... You know what? We'll take a look at them outside the boxes. <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, you got the side of the box here, which also, very nice, shows off the, um, you know, the creature pretty well. Now, I had no idea that, that he had, uh, bluish eyes, which makes sense. I mean, the movie's in black and white. I mean, I remember, I remember when I was but a young Simeon, I saw the, um, I saw the movie. I don't know how old I was. I was, I was, it was a long time ago. It was, it was back when I had, like, my old house. Really long time ago. Yeah. At least I believe so. It's, I don't know, it's been a while, and I, honestly, I have a hard time keeping track of time. But, um, yeah, I remember watching this with my grandmother. At least she stuck by maybe, like, half of it. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, yeah. This is, uh, some great scale detailing on the box. See his, uh, see his hand with the claws? You got the Universal Monsters logo with NECA and Real Toys. I have no idea who the hell Real Toys is, but I knew NECA is. Got a nice side view, which that is absolutely beautiful. That's um, that's good artwork right there. And then you got his mouth, which kind of looks like a blow-up doll. <laughs> not going to lie. That's all right, though. You know, shit. You got him bursting out of the water, which kind of reminds me of some of, the <clears throat> some of the photography that I've done. Crazy. And then you got the, the old Creature of the Black Lagoon font as well. Yeesh. So, uh, I'm going to open this dude out, and I'm going to get him uh, showing to everybody, and I'll see you all in a bit. Man, it's been two seconds, and I already fucked up the box. All right, well, fuck it. There we go. You know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways man that box is nice looking too <laughs> fuck oh shit yeah whatever uh, so yeah you got them out and let me tell you this beautiful sets of i think what are emerald greens like really nice pretty greens kind of reminds me that a lot of the greens are used on the Amela and Tauga a little while back so let me see this this dude got uh got these little Plastic things. <laughs> you, got, you got beef just staring. <laughs> staring off in the distance. <laughs> he's like, yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> he's having a good time, you know. He's, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about stuff. 
but anyways, um, yeah, honestly, it looks really nice just out of this here, but let me, let me grab an X-Acto knife real quick and, uh, hopefully not mutilate the figurine like I did the box. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, shit, that was completely unintentional, everybody. I just, I was doing it off camera and I ripped the box a little bit and I said, well, there goes the value for the box. I said, I might as well finish it off. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, here we go. Got my little X-Acto knife here. Try not to... Got the figurine itself. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And everybody's like, why is he showing this on camera? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> to make sure that I don't mutilate the figurine, you know? Shit. Let me see here. That's so everybody can see my oh so incredible dexterity. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. I mean whoever I mean I get why they, they put tie it in so it's easier to so it's easier to not steal. Or sorry, sorry what I meant to say was so it's harder not to steal. But um I mean goddamn, who's <laughs> gonna go through all this shit to steal this thing? Well, actually I guess there are a lot of people. Damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna do this off screen. Hold on. Alright, well, I got him out of the box. And uh, honestly, I'd like to say right off the bat, the detail here is wonderful. Uh, we're gonna get take a, take a closer look at the body here. And yeah, wow. Look at all that. You got, um, honestly, like the eyes are just stunning. Like they really are good eyes. Um, they're a little flat looking. Like they almost look like, uh, how do you say, like, deflated perhaps like dried out but you know honestly that's okay because it looks more like the costume you know um and like i said i had no idea that it was uh bluish in color so that's uh you know that's fascinating got the uh got the jaw right here with the uh the oh so kissable lips <laughs> oh god <laughs> that's that's funnier than hell everybody everybody thought the the amphibian mon or the amphibian man from fucking creature the or from the shape of water. Everybody's like, "Yeah, I want to fuck that thing." It's like, what the hell? <laughs> just weirdos. <laughs> it's like, I just think about it. that. That's what that reminds me of with the the big ass red lips on them. I mean, then again, I guess it goes just you know it goes with the little design. If it was me designing it personally, I would have made them a little bit less red. You know, red and luscious looking. You know, I probably would have made it more like. Maybe more like a, maybe possibly like a monotone green, maybe like more of a grayish green. You know, I feel like it would have fit more with the mouth, but I get it. They're making it uh, accurate, per se. You know, instead of, um, what is it? Instead of, uh, you know, just kind of going for the rule of cool. To, yeah, instead of going for the rule of cool, they were going for accuracy, which I respect that. Anyways, so yeah, you got the sides of his gills here, which are done in sort of like, a metallic gold, perhaps? Like, that's that's what it looks like. It looks like a lot of, kind of a goldish color, which reminds me of, like, like this kind of gold, but more like, more brown. Yeah, more of a brownish gold. And honestly, it plays off really well with the greens. You know, you got some paint mishaps here and there, but honestly, I don't mind it, you know? I mean, hell, my works ain't very, or ain't perfect in the slightest, so, you know, who am I to judge? And then, but the sideways look of the figure, and that is just, wow. I mean, like all the different wrinkles and creases in the face are just immaculate, you know? And they go around the sides of the head, too, like here. That's that's beautiful, you know? That's stunning. Absolutely fantastic detail work. Like with his uh, ridge going down his back, you know? Like you see all these different little uh, creases and all the individually sculpted bumps, you know? As it goes down, like the spines. Man, look at all that. That is just absolutely fantastic. You get to his ass crack, and that is, that is also incredibly well sculpted, you know? You got his, uh, hold on, try to match it up with his body there. Yeah, that's, man, that is some really fantastic detail. You know, that reminds me, Why? I wonder why they put a tail on the Mob Squad version of the Gill Man, you know? Like, this version of them don't really got a tail, so it's, 
it's fan it's uh it's definitely fascinating you know uh but yeah you see all like the little scales and all that that's fascinating you know like every single scale is just so minutely uh you know are so minute in size but like they're it's such an incredible attention to detail you know it really blows my mind and then you got like these sort of like shoulder spikes like kind of reminds me of ghost rider on the why Wait, actually wouldn't that be some crazy shit a ghost rider creature of the black lagoon that'd be nuts i'm somebody ought to make art of that or something you got his uh stomach plate here which i mean uh, yeah that's a stomach plate you know it's a ridge of armor that protects him which makes me wonder what, like, the Gill Man is. I mean, I, I always assumed that he was a Temnospondyl amphibian. You know, he was one of the ancient races of amphibian that survived, you know. Um, you know, and kept evolving till modern day. And he's, like, a part of, like, a, he's, like, one of the last individuals of a relic species. That'd be pretty cool. But, uh, I mean, with all these armor bits around him, it's even possible that he's possibly... <laughs> it's possibly possible! <laughs> That he's a descendant of placoderm fish that evolved in sort of a similar uh, way to um, to mammals. I mean, that would be crazy, you know. But I mean, honestly, the Temnospondyl is more is more of a um, how do you say? It's more of a possibility, you know. I mean, I, if I had to go with the if him being one or the other, I think yeah, Temnospondyl would probably make more sense. But uh, then again, with these gills. I mean, a placoderm, yeah, a placoderm fish actually could make just as much sense because he's still got gills, you know? And I mean, I know a lot of Temnospondyls also had gills, but like the gills with the armor plating, you know? I mean, I'm not really sure because placoderms, for nobody knows, are like armored fish from the Devonian, and this dude hailed from the Devonian, so, you know, it's interesting to think. I mean, not to mention, I mean, there are fish species with legs today, like there's frogfish, you know, a few angler species have... uh you know, leg-like limbs. Mudskippers are another example. You know, they're able to crawl across land with their arm-like, uh, their arm-like fins. I mean, yeah, there's def definitely plenty of examples. Also, look at the detail on, the, like, the webbing in between his fingers. That is, that is amazing. I, I love that. Like, and we flip his hand around. Look at that. Like, all the suction cups. Like, that's, that's what it looks like. It looks like suction cups on his hands. Man, look at the attention to detail of that. That's just, wow, you know? That's blowing my mind. I don't think I could do that with caulk. Yeah, definitely not. It would all kind of squish together, either that or it'd end up coming out way too big, you know? But, oh, uh, yeah, just, wow. All the attention to detail is incredible. And you know what? It makes me wonder, because from what I remember, the way you see the Gill Man kill people in the movie, you know, when... They invade his habitat and try to take him. You know what I'm saying? And when they aggress when they act aggressive towards him, because I don't care what anybody says, this dude is the victim of the movie. You know what I'm saying? Then people came to the Amazon. They came to his home and fucking shot him with a harpoon. I said, no wonder he's aggressive as shit afterwards. God damn. But um, yeah, you know, it's like uh, yeah. I mean, when you see him kill the people in the movie, like he he like cups his hand on their face. And he's, and he just kind of, he holds on to their face, he, you know, and I don't know what, like, I wonder if he has like some sort of, um, some sort of biotoxin, like maybe like some sort of relic of back when a species used to be prey, you know, like, I wonder if like these suction cup type things here, I wonder if they release some sort of toxin, like neurotoxin or some sort of biological poison. I'm not really sure. Not really venom, because venom comes from your mouth. So it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's venom, but it's definitely, I mean, I, I wonder. Because, like, they die so quick, you know? Like, it's, I don't know. You know? It's like, that's that's an interesting piece of speculative biology. Like, I wonder what these are used for. I mean, I doubt that they're just simple grips, you know? Because his fingers don't have them, you know? Like, if they were simple grips, then, yeah, you think his fingers would have them. But, uh... Yeah, that's just fascinating to think, like, what part of his, like, what does he use these for? But either way, um, yeah, we go down to his legs here. You know what's sad? Somebody on the internet's gonna find this attractive. <laughs> that's, that's fucking awful. <laughs> Good lord, the fucking time we live in. 
But uh, real quick, look at all these. Look at the patterns down his back. Wow. That's that's fucking amazing, man. That's absolutely wonderful. And all the I know I already bring up bring up the scales. And you know what's fascinating is that apparently the original creature of the Black Lagoon design was supposed to be more sleek and slippery like an eel, you know, and apparently more feminine too. It was, it was supposed to be more built like a woman and it was going to have like a sleek eel-like design. Uh honestly, I actually would have liked to see that. You know, like I I mean, not like maybe it's like the you know, like the final design, because I love this design, it's iconic, but like, I'd li- I would have liked to have seen something like that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I could sculpt that at some point or another, that'd be, that'd be interesting, you know? But, um, yeah, honestly, back onto this design, uh, you know, it's just wild to think, like, all the different designs of the creature of the Black Lagoon had, you know, I mean, there was the Monster Squad one, which is more like a Goliath tiger fish in terms of its jaws and, like, the general patterns on its body. Or actually, no, wait, the patterns were more like a piranha. That's what it reminds me of. As for this guy, I it's hard for me to really compare him to anything. He's just so unique looking, you know, like, uh, nothing really rings a bell in my mind, you know, like, he got, like, the the plating on his body, he got, I mean, the suction cup hands are obviously like an octopus, but like, they're different at the same time, you know, um, you know, I mean, he got all these ridges around his body, which reminds me of like, basal, uh, reptiliforms, like, you know, like, animals that are amphibian that are transitioning into reptiles in the evolutionary branch of life, (laughs) but, um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy to think, just all the different, like, what is this thing? You know, that's one of the things I love about the creature of the Black Lagoon. It always makes me question, like, what is it, you know? And while my brain tells me, eh, it's probably a Temnospondyl, there's always that little piece in my mind in the back of my head going, like, I mean, we don't know, you know? And Temnospondyl amphibian makes the most amount of sense because Temnospondyls fucking ruled the Earth at one point or another, you know? They were they were the big cheese at the time, you know? Uh, you know, and I mean, they were so diverse, I mean... Honestly, it was pretty much just amphibians living on the land, in the seas, you know? Who knows, there might have even been, like, flying ones? Fuck, wouldn't that have been amazing? I mean, hell, it's possible. Shit. Have, like, an amphibian with a skin membrane flying around like pterosaurs? That would have been wild. It's definitely possible. Um, You know, like, there's all sorts of different possibilities, you know? And it's it just blows my mind to think, like, Obviously, I mean, what, I mean, this dude is convergently evolved with humans, like, or at least hominins, you know. So it's like it's it's thinking like, what what were these guys like back in the day? Was it all just super a superficial resemblance, you know, like just to help kind of bob and weave their ways through the Devonian waterways, or would it be like, would they have slowly, you know, would they have slowly transitioned into a uh, more intelligent farm i mean because clearly the gill man is still relatively smart you know it's a very smart animal but um i wonder or possibly maybe like crocodilians its design was so efficient successful that it didn't really change a whole lot you know maybe there was branching lineages that went off and did their own things became successful and that or yeah became successful and then went into their own specific niches and then died out later on but clearly with the creature his, um, I mean, his design, maybe like his specific branch kind of just stayed the same because of how good they were in their environment, you know? I mean, not to mention like the, phys- the insane physical strength of the creature. I mean, yeah, you see him in like the, the sequel, which God, the sequel, I can't stand the fucking people in that sequel. It's like everybody, everybody screaming, running away from him. I said, you guys kidnapped him from the Amazon and stuck him in a fucking, what is it? In a pretty much a kiddie pool. You know, what, what, more or less, I mean, what, what was it? It looked like a public swimming pool they, they stuck him in. And then, like, what is it? Is, I can't remember who played in that movie. It was, uh, John Agar, maybe? Yeah, it was John Agar. He kept fucking zapping him with the cow, with the cattle prod. And I'm thinking, yeah, no, these, the humans are dicks in this story. Like, they really are. Honestly, everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sympathize with the people. Be horrified of the monster. I'm thinking, fuck, the only monster I see is the one holding the cattle prod, shocking the fish man. <laughs> Seriously, unbelievable. That's that's what people considered hero, like heroic back in the day, folks. <laughs> Shit. But anyways, back onto the feet here. Wow, look at these feet. 
I mean, like, like you see, like the uh, the ridges in between the the sockets, you know, where like the the toes would articulate, you know. And he has five toes, which is, uh, you know, that's pretty uh, consistent, you know, with general te- tetrapod life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then he got these little ridges on the sides of his feet, along with what the hell? What the hell are these? That's weird. That that is weird. I don't, I don't think I ever saw that. That is. What is this? Like, what, what does this do? Like, everybody's like, man, why? He just keeps going on and on. <laughs> I'm like, hey, listen, I'm mesmerized by the sculpt of this animal. You know, it's, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. This, it raises so many questions for me, you know, and it, it's just, I'm really, I'm at, I'm at awe just trying to figure out what this is, you know, and it's like, that's what I always find fun about, you know, prehistoric life forms. It's like, you never, you never know. Like, these ridges probably could have helped with swimming, you know. Possibly, maybe even to reduce, to reduce drag with the legs, you know. And, um, yeah, I mean, look at these back spurs on his legs. That's wild. Man, like all these little side bits. What do the bottoms of his feet look like? Now, that's wild. Look at that. Like, I wonder what those kind of look like the same. Let me see. Hmm. 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 <laughs> slowly turns into the, the Skeksis. <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, yeah, I mean, these probably could have been used for gripping, you know? That's just wild. Because, like, again, why aren't they on the entirety of the bottom feet? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what I find so fascinating. Also, there's some paint rub off right there, but that's okay, you know? But, like, honestly, it's just... Man, that's, that's tripping me out now that I'm seeing it. Look at that. Wow. Ah, you know, it don't take away too much, though. I mean, who doesn't have a cracked nail here and there, you know? But it's like, wow, like, what are these used for? That's This sculpt, this got to be one of the most impressive, if not the most impressive NECA sculpt I've ever seen. Like, this, it's just so much shit to look at, you know? And then you got this little dot here, which I think that's just either something stuck to the bottom of his foot or... Yeah, it was something stuck to the bottom of his foot. But, like, it's just, wow, it's blowing my mind with all these different details, you know? This figuring was fantastic. Um, so, anyways, beyond the sculpt, we have these hands, which, again, pretty much the same hand, you know? You got the, uh, got all the suction cups, you know? You got the webbing, beautiful webbing, the bre- the golden brown uh, line with the talons on the end of his fingers. Same hand. These are like a swimming hand, you know. These these would have been useful for propelling him through the water, which, if anybody who's seen the movie, you know how he swims. You got these kind of grasping hands, perhaps? Like, even, uh... Actually, I think my mind's nails are crooked. But that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I like it. Uh, these are kind of like... Like, like you! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... Yeah, these are like yeah, grasping hands of sorts, you know, like pointing, like kind of like when he's reaching out towards the lady, you know what I'm saying? And then these, I, I mean, I don't even know what, what these are supposed to be. Like, I mean, that's what I figured the hands already on them are, you know, these are kind of just like midway. Are these like attacking hands? Like, what are, what are these for? I don't know, because you see his claws kind of pointing out more, which the white on the claws is a little uneven, you know, like. In fact, the claw paint as a whole is pretty uneven. But, honestly, it don't bother me too much. Like, it's it's whatever. And honestly, with how many hands are here, I might take, like... Let me see. I might either... I'll probably take these ones that aren't the best, and I could use these for a different creature. That'd be cool. Because this guy comes with, um... Comes with three heads. You got this, uh... You got these two heads, which this is more of like a a gasping head, which... Holy shit, it's articulated! <laughs> Look at that! Hold on. Man. The fucking head's articulated. That's cool. Or the mouth. The mouth is articulated. Look at that. That's amazing. I fucking love that. Because I, I saw that, I... I was like, wow, would you look at that? Like, look at the... I saw that in the back, you know, like the back of his mouth. Hold on. I don't know if anybody could see that. Let me see. Man. 
No, you can't. But there's like a there's like a little joint in the back of his mouth right there. Hold on. Wait a second. I have my flashlight still. <laughs> I forgot to bring that in. What I was doing. There it is. Right. Yeah, you can see it right there flashing. Yeah. Well, you know, because I looked at that and I know people brought it up, you know, and I was thinking, I don't see it anywhere on the figure, but no, it's just really subtle. And honestly, I, I like it a lot. It's, hmm. Yeah, in fact, if anything, I like it more than like a lot of the other heads. Although, hmm, let me see, are the gills any different here? Hmm. You know what, if anything, I'd probably keep th this head and that head for the creature, and then I'd probably take maybe this articulated head and use it for something different. Like, you know, I'd, I'd make like a custom creature figure, you know what I'm saying? That would be cool, because honestly, he don't even really need all these different hands. Like, two two pairs of hands, you know, two two pairs of hands and one head, that's good enough, you know? And you can make it, yeah, yeah, I can make my own custom creature figurine, for sure. And, uh, for comparisons, actually, I brought my own, uh, I brought the one creature figure, which I don't, I don't remember what brand it is, but, uh, hold on a second. I brought him down here to do comparisons with. He's the one I've been using in my picture stories, uh, he was fighting alongside King Kong in my last story that I did with a minute. It was the Suchi and Madness one. Look at that. So here we have this one. Which, I love the colors, too. If I had to say, you know, when I looked at both of these through the box earlier, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure, I prefer this one's colors. But then it's like, looking at them now, I don't know. That's, oh, man, that's, uh, I tell you, let me get back on the tripod there. And, um, <laughs> yeah, look, it's like, so, I mean, because, like, don't get me wrong, I like the details here, but... I feel like looking at them both now, like, I mean, I love the patterns and stuff on here. Like, this dude looks great, you know? I mean, the eyes, like, I like that the that the the red of the lips is a little bit more subdued here. It's more of a, like, of a light pink, you know? As opposed to, like, this kind of bread, almost, like, glossy lipstick look. I, so I like, I like that, sorry, I like that detail more than this. But when it comes to, like... Like, yeah, just, like, accuracy, this dude wins absolutely. I mean, they're, they're in an, even a contest, you know? I mean, like, this guy, he doesn't really look like the creature. He looks like a member of the creature species, you know? Like, he don't look like the individual. He just looks like a member. I mean, look, even, like, with the hands. Oh, hey, I never even noticed that. He got the suction cups, too. Just they're a lot more subdued. Yeah, never mind. He got that. Wow. How, how have I never noticed that until now? <laughs> the fucking, I did a review on this guy and I, well, then again, yeah, my, a lot of my older reviews are kind of schlocky, but, um, yeah, honestly, it's, yeah, I didn't even notice that until now. Wow. Does he got it on the feet too? Oh, nope. The feet are barren. <laughs> That's okay though. Nobody really often looks at the feet. It's just that dude, the fact that they are to, that they detailed the feet it's just wonderful, you know? So, yeah, you got, got on the sides here. I mean, just look at these two together. That's incredible. Now, I know with amphibian physics, the female is usually the bigger of the two, which that actually would be a fascinating story. You see this one who's, you know, kind of like the male. He encounters the female, and they do sort of like a, a ritualistic, or they do like a, a courtship ritual, you know what I'm saying? You see them swimming through the water, twisting around, you know? And then, like, the, it does the thing that toads do where this one hops on the back and just kind of clings on. You know, you know what I'm saying? While the female walks around. I should do that as a story. Absolutely. That'd be wonderful. It'd be a nice break from, you know, all the, the creatures just killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Which, there's only so many things you could do with a picture story and toys. But, you know, I mean, the fight scenes are, like, the most exciting thing you could do. But I wouldn't mind taking a break from that. See a herd of animals moving along. See these two doing a courtship ritual. You see this guy blankly staring at both of them with a shit-eating smirk. <laughs> he looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> Beef knows what's up. And for anybody who wonders why I named him Beef, yeah, <laughs> we'll fucking look at him. <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, yeah. You know, another thing... And I know this video is going to be like a fucking half hour, but I don't care. You know, people want to, some people want to see this, some people wouldn't. You know, 
it's whatever. But one thing I find interesting is like the creature has had so many depictions, like unofficial wise. Like it, what was it? It had. Well, I mean, the Monster Squad was like the only, like different, real drastically different change. You know, I don't count the creature from the Shape of Water because it's it's like its own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's such a different design, and like. Uh, what is it? It's so much smarter than the creature, you know? Like, it, it has a lot more... It's more human in terms of personality, you know? And just design-wise, it's a lot different, too. And actually, if I had to say anything, that one, uh, the the Amphibian Man from The Shape of Water, that one, act to me, comes off more as, like, if a placoderm fish evolved into a humanoid shape, because... That version of the amphibian man isn't fully amphibious. Like, yeah, he needs to be in a certain... He needs to be in water with a certain sultanity uh, every so-and-so amount of time, you know? Otherwise, he... Um, otherwise, he could die. As for the creature of the Black Lagoon, can be out of water for whenever. Like, I think so, anyway. Like, yeah, I think he's fully amphibious. He can breathe air, and, you know, he got scales to help hold back, you know, water from... Uh, I'm getting dehydrated, you know. So I don't know. That's that's fascinating. Another thing is um, the creature of the Black Lagoon from the novel. Like there's a book written where the creature in that one is drastically different. Like one, I think it actually was female in gender. Uh, it was huge. It was almost like the size of a kaiju. Like it was massive. It was like a small kaiju, like some 100 feet long. It had a long tail. Um, you know, it was... Uh, it was a drastically different creature. I think I don't remember how they how they shot it or how they killed it though. I just remember the description and going, "Wow, yeah, that's very different." So you know, at some point in the future, I ought to make some of these designs. Like I ought to make like the the eel woman design. I ought to make like the novel design that's more like a giant uh, Amazon uh, river monster type thing. I'd like to do kind of like our a more decent redesign, like, with some of these things here. I saw this lovely art, um, of one of the Creature of the Black Lagoon species with a woman, with an Aztec woman, like, you know, it was back, long back in the day. And that made me think, because, you know, the way the woman was standing and all that, it made me think, you know, obviously they had something going on, like, not... Clear. I don't think sexually. I mean, who fucking knows? I mean, listen. If there's one thing I've learned about humanity, humanity, there are individuals who will fuck anything with a heartbeat. <laughs> so it wouldn't even surprise me. Shit. But, <laughs> but um, what is it? It just it fascinated me because it it really expanded upon the lore of the creature of the Black Lagoon. Like it would explain why the creature of the Black Lagoon in the movie has a fixation with the woman. Possibly because their species at one point had contact with the ancient Mayans, Aztecs, Incans, you know, the people of South America that existed back, you know, all the way back when, you know, and they had some sort of either subservient or kind of like loyalty to them, you know, like some, like, a, I don't want to say slave because that, I mean, possibly, possibly slaves, but I, I wouldn't say like, because the way I saw it in the picture, it looked more like a guardian and a protector, Plus, the woman, she was clad out in armor that had the creature of the Black Lagoon's, you know, visage all over it. You know, like it was the creature of the Black Lagoon, like it had its, uh, had its face like carved out in all the armor bits, like in her clothes, everything. So clearly they revered them or, you know, maybe even worshipped them. You know, kind of like how uh, Egyptians back in the day worshipped crocodiles, you know. I mean, shit, if there's any animal you're going to worship, might as well be crocodiles. Shit. <laughs> like, they're the closest things we got to kaiju in, in real life. I mean, all the crazy-ass abilities of crocodiles, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, it was just fascinating. You know, it was, it was a wonderful piece. You know what? I'll put it in the community post later on today. That's, that's what I'll do. But, uh, yeah, back onto the figurine. Articulation-wise, it can move. It's head it can swivel and go... Not really a whole lot of up and down, but that's okay. It's torso, I'm assuming can, yeah, it's torso can move so-and-so pretty neat, pretty nicely. It's fin is kind of a nice semi-solid rubber that has the potential to bend a little bit. Its arms can go so forth, you know, you can kind of get it in that classic swimming pose. Let me see. 
my feet can go about the, yay that far and then about that far forward so pretty good i mean yeah you could get them in kind of a kind of a swimming pose that'd be nice yeah so anyways yeah his legs can move about that far you know you could do like, like <laughs> hello my baby hello my honey hello my ragtime girl <laughs> i love that shit knee can bend about that far there we go yeah but you can yeah the knee can bend that far you gotta does a does a decent swivel yeah i think it might even be a double jointed knee let me see oh yeah oh yeah it is sweet um you know, and then you guys know how the whole popping of the head off, you know, you just kind of, this one's stiff as fuck, though. That one actually has a different piece to the neck. All right, so yeah, never mind. The, the head can move down a lot further. You just got to, really got to put some work into it, you know? Yeah. I tell you, the picture story with these two is going to be awesome. And I mean, I don't know. I'd have this one probably pose as female just because, you know. I mean, out of these two, it definitely looks more like a female. And like I said, with amphibians, it's usually the female's the bigger one. So, you know. Let me see. The arm moves around that. You know, obviously that swivels. This can go up and down. Uh, it has a rubbery piece in the middle here. A decently solid rubber piece, but, you know, rubber nonetheless. And, uh, yeah. Honestly, the, you know, a lot of people, or I don't know, a lot of people probably did bring this up. But I don't often bring this up. The um, articulation hiding, like the hiding of the articulation in this figure is incredible. Like, you know, like you don't really, I mean, besides that there, but you know, that's necessary to move. Um, you know, what is it? Like the, uh, how do you say? Um, like just the hiding of it, just like the, the blending in of the articulation. That's what I meant to say is just absolutely phenomenal. Hold on, let me get him in an actual, <laughs> get him in a standing pose here. <laughs> I don't know, I got cracking up just because all the funny shit I'm thinking of in my head of what poses you could put in this figurine into, you know? Like, yeah, have like I'm doing that whole, like what is it, the, the tap dancing routine or, not tap dancing, you know what I'm talking about when people do that, like the, I don't know what it's called. Hey, either way. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the creature of the Black Lagoon figure. Honestly, if I had to rate it, I'd give it a, um, I'd give it maybe like a, um, what is it? A, uh, probably, honestly, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Fuck it. Yeah. 10 out of 10. It's wonderful. You know, sculpt is wonderful. Articulation's pretty damn good. You know, like it comes with three separate heads and an additional... <laughs> and an additional articulated head which if you're a crafter like me hey you know i'll be taking advantage of this shit for sure absolutely but uh yeah honestly overall it's just a wonderful figurine and uh, you know uh if you guys like the video well don't leave a like or and don't subscribe unless you want to you know it don't do anything to help me it's whatever it's just it's all on you frankly in fact, I like it when people don't, because then it keeps me off YouTube's radar. Although I think, I mean, I think I've said that many a time prior, but you know, for anybody who's new here and listening, just, yeah, I like to stay off their fucking radar so they don't make money off me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. That's what I say. You know what I'd do if they gave me like the, what is that, the play button or some dumb shit? You know, it's like the little trophy they give you for having so-and-so vi viewers. I'd take that trophy and I'd melt that motherfucker with a flamethrower. <laughs> I do. I record that shit too. I'm like, this is what I think of your fucking trophy. I'm like, whoosh! <laughs> fucking melt that motherfucker to a rock. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. And then I'd take the melted remains, scoop it up, and I'd craft it, craft it into a figurine. That'd be some good shit. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much the creature of the Black Lagoon review. Uh, and I hope all of you. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.